Hi everybody, I'm Byron Day, back with another COVID-19 information segment with our Fox 10 News investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby. Brendan's got information on the fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. And Brendan, we've seen a disturbing trend in drug abuse. Tell us about that. Well, that's right, Byron. Uh, we won't have comprehensive official figures from the government for a while because of the lag in gathering the data. But the Washington Post cites a tracker by the Overdose Detection Mapping Application Program. That's a federal program that gets information from ambulance crews, hospitals, and law enforcement agencies. Although it doesn't include every uh, everything in the country, uh, the numbers do show that suspected overdoses have increased 18% in March compared with last year. 29% in April and 42% in May. A report by the ODMAP in May showed that 62% of participating counties reported an increase in overdoses. It's impossible to know how much of this is because of the pandemic, but healthcare experts told the Post that they believe it is playing a role. Yeah, there's also been a grim psychological impact from this pandemic. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, Byron, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Census Bureau track indicators of anxiety and depression on a weekly basis, and there's been a spike this year. From April 23rd to May 5th, for instance, about 36% of Americans reported symptoms of anxiety or depression, and that's held pretty steady. If anything, it's gotten a little worse. The most recent period, June 25th to 30th, that figure was almost 38%. By contrast, during the first six months of 2019, the figure was just 11%. So there's been a big increase in anxiety and the coronavirus is a likely culprit. By the way, in case you're wondering about the results for uh, Alabama, uh, they're similar, although a little bit lower, still close to the national rate. It was 30.3% in that April 23rd to May 5th period and 35.9% during June 25th to 30th. It's a reminder that there's more to consider than COVID-19 infection and death rates. Yeah, looking at those numbers, it certainly is. Brendan, thanks very much. Brendan will be back for Fox 10 News at 5 with more on the stimulus program. So if you have a question for Brendan Kirby, just email it to him at brendan.kirby at fox10tv.com. He's going to try and get to every question that he can get to.